The FM Red Hawks back in the driver's seat, finishing up their homestand in dominant fashion and unseating the division's top team. The Oakman winning all three games over the team who came into the weekend holding the top spot. Over the three-game series, the Red Hawks outscored the Milkmen 31-10. to Now, those 31 runs are going to get a lot of attention, but a lot of the credit belongs on the mound, with Red Hawk pitchers keeping a very talented Milwaukee team off the board. Manager Chris Coase, who, who told us before the series that pitching would be the key to winning these games, reacted after the closing contest about his bullpen. Well, today, Nissen was really, really good for seven strong innings. The other games, it was minimized damage was the big thing. So Nissen today was great. He, I mean, he was strong for seven strong innings. Um, the other pitchers, when they had adversity or uh, Milwaukee would put a run on the board, we would find a way to keep it to just one run. And that, that's why we won those first two games. Now this sweep has made the battle for the North Division even tighter moving forward. Chicago now holds the top spot with their 26-17 overall record. Them, the Red Hawks, and the Sioux City Express were the first teams to reach 26 wins so far this year. Now the Dogs can't get too comfortable up there on the top. Milwaukee and Fargo-Moorhead are both only half a game behind them for the top spot in that North Division. The Red Hawks will have a chance to claim the top spot in the division tomorrow when they open their road series against Winnipeg. Hey, that's exciting. Good luck to the Red Hawks. Exactly. Always good to just be like one game back or half a game yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Devin. Summer joins us again with the last look.